Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a box break of Luminance Football. This is the last filler we gotta do to unlock that dual case break, which is right over here. That's coming up in the next video. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. There are the teams right there. Let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams, four and a six, 10 times each. And different dice roll for the giveaway part, as always. Four. Tenth and final time, there's everybody's name. So this is a hobby box, so there's three autographs and one memorabilia card in here, so there could be some surprises here. Four to six, 10 times for the teams. All right, there's the first half of the list right here. And there's the second half of the list right over there. No trades in these filler breaks. <laughs> Jason Jaspi was in Oregon, ladies and gentlemen, watching the watching his Ducks play. So you, so Vanessa said you flew into Portland and drove. Yeah, we flew to Portland, and then uh, my cousin drove us to you know, like a two-hour drive. Your cousin lived up there? Yeah, one of Vanessa's cousins. He moved up there a long time ago. We're in and out. Oh, and, uh, nice. He just had a kid, so he has like a few months old over there. Uh, we went to the game, and then I didn't realize it, but if I really would have planned this correctly. He was down to do it, but I was already tired. The Dodgers were in Seattle, so I could have oh. literally drove to Seattle the next How day. How long was the drive? That one's three hours. Okay, so. And I would have done it, but I'm like, it would have been back to back days of driving four hours and six <laughs> hours. That's a little rough. Yeah, so I was like, no, we can't do that. He's like, oh, I've been really wanting to see the Dodgers in Seattle, but I was like, I just really found out today. Like, Oh, you should have planned ahead on that. Yeah, I didn't know that. But I told Chad, he's like, let's go. I was like, I know, bro. It was like three hours. I was like, I was like and it was a one o'clock game, so I was like, I to leave like at eight in the morning. I was like, nah, dude, that's just way too much. Yeah, because the game ended in Oregon. We left like around third quarter because it was already blocked. But we didn't even get home till like 11, and it was already late. Wow. So the next cut is in Portland, though. He's in Portland. Gotcha. So you drove to the game and then drove back. I see. Yeah. Why is this not printing? Yeah, we just ended up staying in Portland on Sunday. That's nice. Stadium's cool? Yeah, it's really nice. It's a little small, but it's really... Like, I was just talking about, like, there's just too many Oregon Duck fans. Like, there's no way anyone will ever take over that stadium. Like, there's Oregon... There's so many cars literally with flags in Portland driving down the 5 freeway with us. Like, I was like, you know they were going to the game. I was like, cause Oregon big like Oregon Duck fans, yeah. Yeah, like cause Oregon football is the only big thing there, minus like the front of the triple is. Why are you in an error state, Fringer? Yeah. Right, I'll just rip this box right here. Oh wait, isn't Joe? Ar Joe's in Oregon. Wait, you weren't always in Oregon, were you? Or maybe you were. Yeah, that's right. Wait, so are you... What is your collegiate allegiance? It does say PC love letter. Oh, I, I'm, I'm stalking Joe right now. Oh, okay. oh, he's in, okay, I won't dox him, but he's in uh, southwest uh, Portland. Oh, he's a Washington State alum. So. He... Well, if you hate the Huskers, I'm cool with you. <laughs> <laughs> so. so I guess you would both hate Washington if he's a WSU alum. Unless that's Wyoming State. Oh, okay, yes, okay. So yeah, Jason is a fan of, uh, of Oregon. Yeah, I was like, why didn't I go next week? But then I realized I forgot, like, the cheapest tickets for Hawaii game was like 20 bucks, you know, it's gonna be a blowout anyways, but 
So next week's game was like 300. Who are they yeah. playing next week? They play Colorado on Oh. Coach Prime experience. Yeah, well, we're about to find out, but we're in this. 20 out of 25, three color patch. Damian Pierce. That's Texans edition. I think he's somewhere else now, right? Damian awesome, Pierce. Joe. No ducks. Uh, this will be for Aaron with the Texans. There's a nice uh, Anthony Richardson, 31 out of 50 for the Colts. That's for you, Joe. It's not bad. Got his first W. We like seeing it numbered too. There's Will Mallory to 100, also for the Colts. Did you watch your rating game? Dude, it was close early. And then I, I, we left I, was, I, I was in Vegas. I was out late last night. Woke up early for the Raiders. Because it was close early on. Dude. Was, I was, I was so bad. happy after the first quarter. Yeah, and then I progressively got sadder and sadder. But what happened? It just kind of fell off. That's and then I, then I just finished the game in my room. I was at the sports book. I was like, yeah, let's go. And then it was just a sad time. But it's like they just fell off, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I mean, shocking in that sense, I guess. Well, the Bills are a very good team. Yeah, yeah, that's and the saying. Raiders. They just kind of just put it yeah, they, they just impose their will. <laughs> Another Anthony Richardson. You know, uh, you know how many minutes? So each each quarter is fifteen minutes, right? Uh -huh. You know how long the Bills had possession in the third quarter? Uh, like twelve. Like to 12, 13 minutes, something like that. It was it was just stupid. It was that kind of game. All right, here's another Anthony Richardson, just a base though, Joe. Here is Packers backup, Sean Clifford. 302 out of 350 for Green Bay, that'll be for Aaron. So what, there's two autographs and one memorabilia? Three autos and one memorabilia. So we're looking for one more, two more autos. We already saw the memorabilia. <laughs> Ah, boo, points. That takes the place of the of the auto. Still should be one more. And there's Bryce Young, who's still looking for his first win. There's a Dontavious Wicks to 200 for Green Bay. Bryce Young obviously goes to Carolina. That'll be for Aaron as well. And we got a Chase Brown to 75 and a Super Bowl autograph. Shaquille Barrett with the Broncos. Barrett could have hardly picked a better team with which to break into the NFL, the Super Bowl 50 champion Broncos, who are one of the great defense first champions of all time. Among his season highlights, Barrett had 5.5 quarterback sacks, forced four fumbles during his rookie campaign. There he is, Super Bowl 50 on-card autograph for my rivals, the Broncos, Steve Herrick with Denver. All right, uh, here's what we're gonna do with the points. We're going to, the first person that does not get a hit parade dual case spot, so spot 10, right, because we're giving away nine. Spot 10 will get the 250 points. Just a, not the best consolation, but it's, it's a little something, better than nothing. All right, so there's the whole list. Let's roll it, randomize it, one and three, four times. Top nine, get into the Hit Parade break. The Jaspi exclusive. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. So spot 10, well spot 11, nothing. Sorry, Joe, you gotta be up there somewhere though. There you go, Joe with the 250 points, that's something. Top nine, you're in the Hit Parade break though. That's Eric, Aaron, Joe, Steve, Joe, 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 Aaron, and Aaron. There you go, Joe, you've got some spots in there. There you go, top nine. After four, we'll see you in the next video for the break. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.